Any idea about this wise man in the garden? What garden? Here in a tom key? Ha! Say no more. I think I've got it. Gorgeous! Is it real? I'm afraid none of us is a numismatist. I've got to come up with something anyway. A clock dial. What does that V stand for? It's not a V. It's a new from the Greek alphabet. Yes? It might mean the neutrino. The neutrino? <sighs> it is a light elementary particle which doesn't participate in strong interactions. You can look it up somewhere. I don't want to overburden you with details. Unless I need them for the investigation. You might want to know that Shandor Soloy was one of the discoverers of the neutrino. In the 1950s, he carried out an experiment together with another physicist. They indirectly verified the existence of neutrinos. There's a well-known photograph documenting the experiment. Hmm. Huh. There could be a connection. A slip of paper. This one doesn't remind me of anything. No problem. A slip of paper. Argos, Xenos, Neos, Kryptos, Helios. But these are... Yes, Professor Soloys refers to noble gases. But how does the rainbow come here? Oh, Jonathan. I can't help you this time. I think you should try someone else. Okay, no problem. I've come about the flasks. Just in time. You were right. Some of them are recent copies, but the others were dated as original antique pieces. Valuable artifacts. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. A slip of paper. Hey, don't you have mini wiki on your phone? Ah, you're right. Gold, copper, silver. What does this mean? What did Professor Saloy mean? Could the order have a meaning? These metals in this order? No. Anyway, thanks. Ernu, can you see anything else that is unusual about these flasks? Let me see. They contain some white powder. You should have it analyzed. And then... These beautiful stoppers. Lapis lazuli, I would say. A popular gem of the era. I think so too. Is it possible that some of these stoppers aren't lapis lazuli after all? Oh my. You mean counterfeit? I couldn't tell. As a matter of fact, lazurite is valuable, and it was frequently forged. By the way, did you know Asher comes from the name of the mineral? And that the famous ultramarine pigment was made by grinding lapis lazuli? Exciting. And how could I find out which are fake? I don't know exactly. There should be tiny golden patches in the lapis lazuli texture, because it contains some pyrite. But if these are fake, they must be very good ones. Ask an expert on material composition. Thank you. I will. Oh, Jonathan, this is so embarrassing. There's nothing I can tell you this time. Don't worry, Ernu.
Have you found out anything? Yes, there are small quantities of boron and nitrogen on the plate. Does it indicate anything? Could be traces of boron nitride. Which is? A material of similar hardness as graphite. Thanks, you've helped a lot. The quotation on the back of the rainbow photo, translated to ancient Greek in scientific transliteration. Oh, Jonathan. No, I'm afraid I cannot do this. But you should ask one of my colleagues. I will. No. I'm not even sure who could help. Don't worry. No. 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 What could I say? I'm not the right person. This small aluminum plate was found in a lead sarcophagus marked with a radiation symbol. But it doesn't radiate at all, Mr. Kagashi says. Yet, there should be some message on it. A message? A message to posterity. Sort of time capsule, hidden in the 1980s. It seems to have vanished. The irradiated material might have lost its radioactivity since then. The Half-Life? Yes. It may be a good idea to irradiate it again. Can you do it? Sure thing. Just find out what's on this plate. There are things that are invisible to the eye. I know. The devil is in the details. Aluminum, bromine, and nitrogen. On the plate? Very well. Let's see if the message is still there. And now, as promised, I show you how the great cyclotron spaceship, best in the Starfleet, starts off. This mini pet machine will read the code? <laughs> Easily. But Professor Soloy couldn't have such a thing. Well, he couldn't. But he might have expected that something like this would exist later. Now watch. Is this the message you've been expecting? But why? That's crazy. Anyhow, the Enterprise crew has done whatever there was to be done in such a case. 
Oh, yes. Thank you. Awesome spaceship. The contours of a pig, captured from the aluminum plate by Dr. Biberosh. This is something I learned in school. Noble gases are odorless and colorless. I don't know how they could be related to a rainbow. I do. In plasma state, noble gases are intensely colorful. Really? Yes. Maybe they didn't explain this at school. Is it true that noble gases are intensely colorful in plasma state? That's correct. I myself often see the amazing, vibrant plasma stars. Would you like to have a look? Very much so. A Soloi puzzle seems to refer to these colorful gases. I can show you all five of them. Just one thing. What is it? My assistant is out sick. Could I help? If you don't mind. What am I to do? Please sit down to the computer and start the Plasma Lab application. I'll give you the instructions presently. Plasma Lab is running. Excellent. There are three parameters to watch. The performance indicator must never be in the red. You should always see something on the display. Make sure the scale on the right remains close to zero. When all these are set correctly, Press the start button. Oof, it's not simple. Don't worry, you can start again. Press the blue button when you're ready. I'll try. You can start. Started. It's your turn now. Excellent! Come here and look at the star in the viewer. I'm coming. This should be the best thing to do. Amazing. This is marvelous. Can we look at another one? I knew you would like it. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I will. I'm here again. Okay, the next gas is loaded. It's your turn. Excellent. Come here and look at the star in the viewer. I'm coming. Like a science fiction movie. Yes, the stars are captured.
I'm sure the plasma star of this gas looks great too, but I shouldn't forget the purpose. Excellent. Come here and look at the star in the viewer. I'm coming. It makes me feel as if it was something organic. Excellent. Come here and look at the star in the viewer. I'm coming. Who said physics was a colorless science? I'm sure the plasma... I'm sure the plasma... I'm sure the... I'm sure the plasma... Excellent. Come here and look at the star in the viewer. I'm coming. This is the fifth. I've seen all of them, but what is it I'm supposed to know? They're really spectacular. Does every noble gas have a specific color in plasma state? These are rather complex colors, Jonathan. Excited noble gases, in this case plasmas, emit a large variety of photons, that is, colors with different intensity. But our eye mixes these into a single color, like when you mix blue and yellow paint to make green. The Plasma Lab application displays the continuous spectrum of noble gases. 
It allows you to manipulate the images and study the color compositions. You'll find it fascinating. I'll try. You can find the instructions under the question mark icon. I must leave you for a while, but I'm sure you can manage. I hope so. I've never done anything like this before. And here are the encapsulated rainbows. Rainbows? But then... A slip of paper. And a number, THZ. This could be terahertz, as likely as not. But what now? One of the best apps. I use it a lot since I've been living in Hungary.